These are the blades by Morso, which are used as a reference for most of the guillotine manufacturers. These blades are 22 cm long and 7.7 cm high and they are 9 mm thick. They have to be applied to the cutting block with three bolts, which have to be inserted into the three holes. The original Morso blades are manufactured in steel with an HR64 thickness, which according to the manufacturer guarantees a longer lifespan in comparison to other blades on the market. The original Morso blades are identified with their logo marked on the metal. They are provided with a polystyrene container. Rinaldin also provides the Pilm blades, which are compatible with the Morso blades. It also supplies the extra hard stainless steel blades by Framers Corner. These blades are provided with their wooden container. They are suitable for the SMM and VMM guillotines manufactured in fact by Framers Corner. The blades should be sharpened every 4-5 months depending on the volume of the framers work. It's indispensable therefore to have at least one pair of spare blades. The sharpening of the blades is very important for the perfection of the cut. Blades which have just been sharpened, in fact, leave the cutting surface perfectly smooth. The irregularities of the cut can be seen easily. If there are vertical lines on the wood, it means that on the blade some teeth have appeared. The teeth can especially be caused by nails and wedges that have been inadvertently left in old frames. We have seen that when they are bought, the blades are 7-7 cm high. Their height, though, reduces by about 1 mm every time they are sharpened. When their height is reduced by 5 cm, the blades aren't any more fit for use. If the blades are to use, it can be that they can't cut the mouldings anymore. In this case, you have to lower the cutting block by moving the rod, which is at the back of the guillotine. To lower the cutting block, you have to lift the position of the nut, which limits its height. To sharpen the blades, you can go to a good sharpener. If in your town there aren't any, you can send your blades to Rinaldin, that offers the sharpening service also for the circular saw blades. Send the pair of blades in a safe container. It's ok if the container is of foam, but the wooden containers provided by Rinaldin would be better. In this container, the blades are blocked by two bolts. Both blades of the pair should be sharpened at the same time, even if only one has a tooth. Normal blades are usually used in the first 4-5 cm. The rest of the blade is unused. It's for this reason that the so-called reversible blades are introduced. The reversible blades have to be applied to the guillotine in this position. When one extremity is consumed, they have to be inverted and moved on the other side of the cutting block, so that the consumed part of the blade will be here. As a result, instead of having to sharpen them every 4-5 months, they can be sharpened every 8-10 months. You can also double the life of blades as at every sharpening the height of the blade is reduced by 1 mm. The only disadvantage is that you cannot cut mouldings wider than 6 cm. The reversible blades provided by Rinaldin are Reversible blades by Morso Reversible blades by Pilm 
You can find all the blades for the guillotines in the Rinaldin catalog and on the website www.rinaldin.com.